Bebes. I was inspired by an Arabian Mexican Barbie, pretty much. <laughs> Hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love talking to you guys. You guys mean the absolute most to me. I hope you guys had a great Easter, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hi guys! So, first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take my hangover RX, and we're just going to go ahead and prime my face, um, just using it as a moisturizer, pretty much. And can you tell I painted my nails? I don't have to work for five days, so I'm so happy. Next, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Blur Primer. This one is just to fill in your fine lines, your pores, pretty much exactly what the Smashbox Primer does. There's certain primers for different things, um, so this is the one I picked, and I'm loving it so far. Next, I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I think I'm in color 120, um, and I'm just using the F80 Flat Kabuki Brush, you know, from Sigma. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia um, brow pencil and I'm making my eyebrows super, super bold, super dramatic, just like carved out. You can definitely tell they're drawn on just for the sake of this look. And boom, see how dramatic they look. And next I'm taking my brow gel and I'm just even pecking that more on just to make my, bold, my eyebrows even more bold. And then to set everything in place with my eyeshadow, I'm using the Lorac Eye Primer and just send this all over my eyelids from bottom to top because we are putting a lot, a lot of shadows on them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Tamana palette and I'm using the color Bangle. And I started putting it on my lid and I forgot that I needed that tape and yeah, so pretty much with your tape, you just put it on the corners of your eyes and just really pack on the colors onto the corner of that tape just to make it super just boom like totally cut you know what I mean and then just go ahead and blend in it more and more using the Miami palette I'm using the color fresh peach and I'm again putting this on my crease I'm just blending it with the bingo just to give it some type of peachy slash brown effect I'm just blending them all together and then next I'm taking Sienna, which is like a brown slash red color, and I'm just putting this on the crease. I'm not putting it anymore or above, I'm just really blending it exactly on my crease just to make my crease super defined and like sunken in look. And then next I'm using the color Aqua, which is from the Tamana palette, and I'm just going to put this on my lid, and I'm just really packing it on because I wanted the blue super vibrant. Alright, and then next I'm taking the color Neon. I'm sorry the clip is so short, but it's just your matte black, and this one I think is from the Kamana palette as well. And I'm just putting this on the outer V of my eyes, and that's where I'm focusing it, and I'm just really blending it out exactly on my crease as well. And then I'm taking a blender brush, and I'm just going to blend everything together because I really don't want any harsh lines. If you know what I mean, instead of being. Next, I'm taking the color of Ben. Oh, shoot, I'm not sorry, Vanessa. And that is also from the Sonata palette. And I'm just going to put it on my lid because I wanted my blue even more vibrant. And then I'm blending it out more. And then I'm taking the color of Vanilla and putting this on the brow bone. And I'm taking it off. Next, I'm using my NYC liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going ahead and putting a pretty dramatic green liner on my eyes. Then I'm taking the 24-7 Urban Decay Eye Pencil in black and just putting it on my waterline. And next I'm taking my Lash Sensation by Maybelline Mascara and just rubbing my eyelashes for the real fluffy lashes. And that's why I'm taking the Velour Doll Me Up. I put some glue on it and let it dry for a little bit. While I did that, I put concealer on and I used the part Cream Creaseless Concealer. And I used this brush, and then it was like super thick, it started to pack on me, so I had to go ahead and use my fingers. So, this took a little longer than usual because the concealer is so thick, and you can tell just by me blending it out and stuff, but I wanted my eyes super bright. Then I took up the contour kit by Anastasia, and I used the lightest color there is, and just go ahead and set it so it definitely does not crease on me. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Finishing Powder in HD and a flat powder brush and just put this all over to set my feet. And then we're going to take the darkest bronzer from the Contour Kit by Anastasia. I'm going to go ahead and do the temples, um, my cheeks, and my chin. And I use the Real Techniques Contour Brush and then just to chisel it out and then I use the Sigma brush to blend it out even more. And next I'm taking Hervana um, Benefit blush and I'm just going to open my elbows as my cheeks. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on. And boom, you need to look good. good. What? Next I'm taking my Becca Moonstone um, Shimmer Highlighter and just putting it all over and then blending it out with a stipple and brush. Next, I'm taking the Nior Black Eyeshadow and just putting this on my lash line, just really blacking it up, making it super more dramatic, and you know the drill. And I love to poke myself, I, I just can't stop doing that. <laughs> and then next, I'm going to go ahead and take that Venezuela <laughs> Blue Eyeshadow and just put this on my tear duct and the inner third of my eye. Then taking that same mascara I used before and just putting it on my lower lashes. And then taking my favorite lip liner from MAC in anticipation and just lining my lips. And then I'm taking Lime Crime's Great Pink Planet because that's the perfect pink Barbie lip. And just putting this all over my lips. And then taking this Stila pink lip gloss from Ulta where you can get like 3 for 15 and just put this all over it to make it even more voluptuous. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up if you want to see more of these and I thank you so much for watching. I love you today. Bye!